Well, after a day of pomp and circumstance, a night of celebration. Just a short time ago, the famous, the well-connected, and the lucky danced their last dance at the inaugural balls. Despite all the stars who turned out in force, the night belonged to the Obamas and to the First Lady's shimmery ruby gown that tonight claimed its place in fashion history. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. It was their first dance the second time around. There were only two official balls this year, practically austere by inaugural standards, but the Obamas proved they still know how to throw a party. Obama's on fire. Alicia Keys. And Stevie Wonder played to a crowd of thousands, donors and devotees, all decked out in black tie and a whole lot of sparkle. But the celebrities seated the spotlight for the real stars of the night, the president and the first lady. And while the day was all about Barack Obama. Uh, some may dispute the quality of our president, but nobody disputes the quality of our first lady. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my better half and my dance partner, Michelle Obama. Tonight was all about Michelle. Mrs. Obama wowed in a ruby-colored chiffon and velvet gown by Jason Wu, the same designer she wore four years ago at the last inauguration. Back then, she delighted the fashion world by stepping out on stage in a white dress by the then little-known designer. That was all it took. His career skyrocketed. Anytime Mrs. Obama wears one of your designs, a fashion designer ascends. And it's not necessarily the case that it happens with every first lady, but it certainly happens with Mrs. Obama. She has a magic touch. From behind, it was all about that sexy low back. But from the front, check out those bangs. I do believe that the bangs are something of a metaphor, and it sends a very striking sound and symbol, as far as I'm concerned, and I think she looks wonderful. Call it Michelle 2.0. Her first four years at the White House made her a style icon. Mrs. Obama's style has really changed the game for women in America, because Mrs. Obama sends a message that you can dress on a budget. Of course, tonight's dress was hardly a bargain, but the ball goers approved of the splurge. So what's the review on the First Lady's dress? Amazing. Amazing, beautiful. I think she looks stunning. And they didn't look so bad themselves. This is, after all, Washington's biggest night out. A chance for these diehard Democrats to break out their best bling. But what's a girl to do if she finds herself faced with a fashion emergency smack in the heart of the nation's capital? Designer room service, of course. Inside the lobby of one of the city's fanciest hotels is a luxury goods empire for VIPs who want to pick up some last minute finery. Are we talking about high no, roller donors We're here? talking about high, high roller donors. Yeah, I think most of the people at the, uh, at the inauguration are. Martha Slagle is the general manager of the Neiman Marcus store in DC. She gave us a tour of their pop-up shop the inside the St. Regis Hotel, <laughs> where they're selling everything from bedazzled ties. Even the guys get the sparkle? Uh, first thing we sold. A little bit of inaugural bling. Yes, absolutely. To Spanx. This is a requirement that for the inaugural. That is under a lot of those yeah. dresses. <laughs> Even jeweled handbags. This parrot purse will set you back more than five grand. Now, what's a girl yes. gonna put in a purse like this? Uh, her lipstick. That's about it. But That's she says it. she sold one of them this and weekend, not to mention a few furs. A mink stole is an inaugural ball essential, she says, because the lines for the coat check stretch on for miles. Everybody's got to have a little red fox in their yeah, life. A little red fox. Well, this is nice. It looks very patriotic. But while Barack Obama once envisioned an America where there are no red states or blue states, at the inaugural ball at least, the country is united in sequins. Got to have a little bit democratic sparkle. Yes, absolutely. What's an inaugural ball must? Wet. But the hottest ticket of the weekend is still to come. Tomorrow night, the president hosts his campaign staff at a private party where they'll be serenaded by Lady Gaga. After that, it's time to get down to the business of running the country. 
task that's more about rolling up the sleeves than slipping into a tux. For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in Washington.